are here to follow him in our journey toward the heavenly kingdom. And Jesus reaches us through his own body. And he has placed all of us, each one of us, in the hands of a man that he has appointed, our bishop. And so is uh, with, with great joy that I welcome Cardinal George among us. And I beg him for uh, his direction. Lead us, point us in the right direction, and give us your blessing. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, on this Friday made good by the death of your Son for our salvation, be pleased to permit us to walk with him in the way of his cross, so that we may be with him through his death and in his resurrection to new life. Bless all those we carry in our minds and hearts with us on uh, this pilgrimage so that together we may be your holy people through this same Jesus Christ, your Son, who is our Lord now and forever. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, I'm very grateful to all of you for the invitation uh, to be with you at the beginning of this Way of the Cross through the streets of our city. It's sponsored by Communion and Liberation, a movement uh, that tells us that we are free, we are liberated, if we are in communion, if we are together in a community, never are we free alone and isolated. And so we are together today around the cross of Christ on this Good Friday. I would like to share with you a few words that our new Holy Father, Pope Francis, shared with the College of Cardinals in the very first Mass that he celebrated after he was elected as Bishop of Rome, celebrated in the Sistine Chapel, in that marvelous space that is built according to the dimensions of the Temple of Solomon in Jerusalem, where the creation of the world is depicted on the ceiling and the end of the world is on the wall. In between the beginning and the end of the world, we live. And we find our way along a path that is to be a path towards eternal life, towards salvation. But in order to do that, the Pope reminded us of three things, three verbs that are important in our life together as disciples of Christ. He started by saying, we are to walk together, caminare. To walk together, to accompany someone, is of course one of the characteristics of the church's pastoral outreach in Latin America. You always accompany someone. You always caminare, you walk with them. And so we walk today, all of us, on this way of the cross. But we do that because we're walking with one another in other circumstances, in all the circumstances of life. We walk together, caminare. The second word he used was costruire, to build, to build up, to edificare. And that is a reference to St. Francis, who was told by the Lord himself when he was searching for his way, when he had given up the newfound wealth of a newly developed economic system in the Europe of his time when there was new wealth and a new division between the wealthy and the poor, which we see now replicated on a global scale in our time, Francis was uneasy, and embracing lepers, he then tried to embrace Christ crucified, and he heard, Francis, build my church, build. And the Pope said we must, as we walk, continue to build, or else we will construct a church made out of sand, and it will not continue. We must keep building. We cannot rest in the buildings that we have now, nor even in the organizations and the ministries that we have now. We must keep building. That's the second word he told the cardinals. And the third word, especially today, is very important. Confessare, to profess who Christ is to a world that is largely ignorant or ill-informed about him. Because he said, the Christ that we profess as we walk, as we build, the Christ that we confess to the world is a Christ crucified. The Christ that St. Paul reminds us is crucified so that having conquered death, we may enter into new life with him. That is the Christ that you take with you as you walk through the streets of Chicago. A Christ on the cross. A Christ, therefore, who has given himself in self-sacrifice so that all of us might have new life. To walk, to build, to profess our faith in Christ crucified for our salvation. That is what you're about today, and for that, 
and for your life of faith day after day, I thank you with all my heart. says, my appointed time draws near. I am to celebrate the Passover with my disciples in your house. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover supper. When it grew dark, he reclined at table with the twelve. In the course of the meal, he said, I assure you, one of you is about to betray me. Distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it's not I, Lord. He replied, The man who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will hand me over. The Son of Man is departing, as Scripture says of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Better for him if he had never been born. Oh, 
Kolejna droga krzyżowa w Chicago, kolejna droga w Chicago ulicami downtown, kolejna droga po Michigan i po najważniejszych miast, miejscach miasta, które zwykle przemierzamy zupełnie nie myśląc o różnych takich sprawach, jak na przykład to, że Jezus umarł na krzyżu, albo że powinniśmy na chwilę się zastanowić nad czymś, co jest istotne w naszym życiu, albo że może nie tylko wszystko ma jeden wymiar, ale ma parę wymiarów i tego właśnie typu wydarzenia jak Droga Krzyżowa po ulicach miasta, takiego jak Chicago, które jest miastem szalonym, okropnego ruchu, ogromnego tłu, tło, tłoku i tłumu, nagle się okazuje, idzie grupa ludzi z krzyżem i wszyscy się zastanawiają, co ci ludzie robią. Ale oczywiście to nie jest nic nowego, nic nadzwyczajnego, ponieważ ta historia, czy też zwyczaj maszerowania, czy też udawania się w procesjach ulicami miast jest stara, szczególnie w Europie, tak samo jak i przedstawienia uliczne związane z, z Wielkim Piątkiem, a przede wszystkim z tak zwanym triduum, czyli trzema dniami upamiętniającymi cierpienie, śmierć i zmartwychwstanie Chrystusa. Cały ruch, całe wydarzenie Droga Krzyżowa ulicami miasta Chicago jest już dość dobrze osadzona w mieście, trwa od 1000, 2005 roku, czyli jest to już któreś kolejne, któreś kolejne wydarzenie organizowane przez, przez ruch, włoski ruch, ale też istniejący w Stanach Comunione Liberazione, Komunia i Wyzwolenie. To jest ruch bardzo mocny we Włoszech, też w Stanach dość dobrze funkcjonuje i to właśnie ten ruch organizuje jedno z najpiękniejszych wydarzeń wielkopiątkowych w mieście.